is Caitlin Martin. My student number is 5587792. And I will be doing um, a part of skill 10, which is getting a small to medium sized dog out of a middle or lower cage. Um, so I'm gonna get Gino out. He had a dental cleaning done and we have to take his catheter out now. So I'm just gonna open the door slowly. Just kind of greet myself first, have him come to me. Um, and then I have two leashes here. All of our patients have to be double leashed here at Banfield. So I'm just gonna slip this over. Hi, Gino. Okay. And then I'm going to grasp underneath his armpits, got his whole body towards me. And then I'm gonna hold him close to my chest and bring him to the table. And then, hi, my name is Caitlin Martin. My student number is 5587792. And I will be doing part of skill number 10, which is lifting a 40 to 49 pound dog onto the exam table. Um, so I have Autumn here and she is actually right in the middle, 45 pounds. Um, so she's a little nervous. Hi, Autumn. Okay, so I'm gonna have her, I'm gonna have her stand up. She's giving me her belly. Come on, Autumn, let's go, come on. Okay. So I'm going to go underneath her neck and then I'm going to brace her underneath her abdomen. And I'm going to lift with my knees, not with my back, onto the exam table. And now she is ready for the doctor. Hi, my name is Caitlin Martin. My student number is 5587792. Um, and I'm going to be doing my canine restraint, um, my lateral and sternal. So first for my sternal, I'm going to have Pepe. I'm gonna have him sit and then I'm gonna have him kind of lay down. And then um, one of our technicians needs to draw blood. So for a sternal, I'm just gonna lift his head up. So now his chest is touching the body and he is sternal. And then next, before we get our blood draw, I'm just going to do a lateral restraint. Um, so I'm going to lift from the bottom, kind of brace his back alongside of me, flip him over on his side. I know it's okay. Nope. You're right. And then kind of scoop his head underneath my arm. And then now he is lateral restraint. <laughs> Hi, my name is Caitlin Martin. My student number is 5587-7192, and I will be doing a part of skill 10, um, which is applying a muzzle, both a nylon and a gauze muzzle. So first, I'm gonna start out with my aggressive patient. Um, I'm going to put on the nylon muzzle first. So I'm just going to slip this on nice and gently, and then clip behind the ears and then tighten it so that Pepe cannot get out of this. And now we have our nylon muzzle. <laughs> and then next, um, for our gauze muzzle, I'm just going to start out with a nice good size gauze. I'm going to tie a little knot on the top and then just kind of close it a little bit. And then I'm just going to slip this over his snout. Okay, so once I have that good and tight, I'm just going to wrap this underneath his, his snout, so that way we're not crossing over the eyes. So crossing under, and then I'm going to tie the rest of the gauze behind his head, nice and tight. Put a little knot. And now we have our gauze muscle, so he can't bite. Thank you. Hi, my name is Caitlin Martin. My student number is 5587-7192, and I will be doing a part of skill number 10, which is applying an e-collar. Um, so I picked this size e-collar out. Whenever choosing an e-collar, I always try to put it up against the dog's face and make sure that their snout is not going to pop out so they cannot access um, whether they're trying to look at their feet or their back end area. So I've already put in some gauze through here so that way I can put it, um, it's already on here so I could just tie it in a knot. So I'm going to just kind of slip this over his head, watch his eyes. He's doing great. Get his ears in in here. So we got the e-collar on, beautiful. And then lastly, I'm just gonna tie it in a knot. Okay. You're all right. So now he is good and cannot access anywhere else on his body. Hi, my name is Caitlin Martin. My student number is 5587-7192. And I will be doing a part of skill number 10, which is using a restraint pole. Um, so I have my aggressive patient in this cage here. 
Um, so I'm going to open this up. I'm going to slip this over his head. And then with the back, I'm going to tie it around his neck. <laughs> so aggressive. So now it's around his neck. He cannot get to me. And then to release it, I will just pull back on this and it will loosen <laughs> and it will be slipped off of the yeah! head.